Hi YouTube, hope you're doing good. Um, I have prying ears again today because he knows what I'm going to talk about. But if you ever want to know another person that knows exactly what's going on in this world right now, come and meet Doug. Look him in the eye and ask him questions and he'll tell you the truth. That's a fact. So with that said, I'm going to say um, whatever I say here, I'm going to put a if on all this. To just, if you want to not believe it, if you think it's craziness, if you don't think I know what I'm talking about, then you could either come and talk to Doug also. Well, it wouldn't matter. If you don't believe it, you don't believe it. So I'm going to lay it on you here right now. Down below on my... Um, videos I have a video covering incubus and succubus the man or woman that comes into your marital bed in the form of Satan or Jezebel however you would want to be um, marriage this isn't out of marriage this is marriage what I'm speaking of okay I'm gonna break down the Trinity for you real quick Although there's um, good and bad to both sides, there's a trinity of Satan's, there's a trinity of goodness. So, okay, we'll go back to the Garden of Eden real quick, real quick. And like I said, there's no debating this in my mind. If um, you had a question, I might answer it, and I might not. If you make an irritating statement, I might acknowledge it or not. This isn't my belief. This is things that I've studied and the things that God and Christ have confirmed within me. So with that said, here goes. <laughs> First off, anything like astrology, uh, even astronomy, um, the sciences, nothing that Satan hasn't got his dirty little paws into and fooled everybody with every aspect of it. So, okay, we got that covered, but, um, and this, okay, okay, now we're gonna go to the Garden of Eden. The only thing that happened there was rape, and she got pregnant, and they killed the man. Okay, now you got Christ. Now you got Satan who wanted to fall so he could rape the woman, okay. So now you got a dirty bloodline going on in this whole whole smeal. And any time them two tried to come back together, Satan and his children would get in between that, wanting to rule that out of jealousy, and it just became kind of inherent in them. So when you get married, you get like one shot at the goal. You get a glimpse of what you can be under God's love if you can do it the right way. Usually the man fails. Sometimes it's the woman, and Satan takes over. So never, and that is why this world is going to be cleaned up. There is not a couple out there that has done it successfully and kept the gold within their lives, because if they had, this crap wouldn't be happening right now. So, okay, the Trinity is the female, the male, and the part of God that got killed, which was his son. Now, Satan feels that son. Satan feels that female. Satan feels God. And vice versa. God feels that Satan. God feels that Jezebel. And God feels that ghost spirit of the fallen Satan. And those entities can go into everybody at will especially satan at this time now satan promised his son on that dark side because it's too bad um at at one given time this this satan boy thinks he's going to take over um in all reality the person we think of as christ is that that energy is going back into the Father. That energy of Satan is going into Christ. That is going to give him his strength 
to take you out if he has to. That's what's going on here. And the woman she, Jesus carries the divine spirit of the Holy Ghost, which is Christ within herself. And we, and all the men know this instinctively. These men know that they're of Christ like that. And if they can't get it together for their families and get the original man and woman spirit back under God, that none of us will ever be satisfied ever on this planet in any way. And that is what's going on. So people play their games whenever two people try to get one mind. It's not anything else. It's one mind together for God. People get in that way. So all day I've been watching these little things here. Well, it's every day. Little things here, little things there. Um, now, there's some people that literally don't understand this, but people that have been married, and especially you women, you know what I'm talking about. You get that golden feeling about once, and then it's lost, and everybody's always trying to get that back. You still have the love. You still have the compassion, but you don't have that golden spot, the honor in God's eyes, because as human beings, we fail. We fall short. I, I, I hate putting myself in the weed. And I actually won't, but I'm just trying to be nice here. Um, so there's the breakdown on the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or the Holy Ghost. Or all of them. So that's the Trinity. That's, that's the actual long and short of the whole situation. Um... See, what else did I want to say on that? Oh, yeah, so in essence, nobody makes love in this world. You might have once, one per person, maybe. And my, I would say at this time and day and the way things are, probably not. You don't probably know what it's like for your father to be outside of the house watching over in, in essence with love like his children are satisfied and happy, you know, with righteousness, with purity, the most pure love from our father that he gave to us. And none of us are getting it because... We're all being jerks and getting in the way of that with each other. So when you see a man and a woman and you don't think you're doing any harm by being stupid in that essence, you are. So, yeah, that Satan energy is not going to go another generation. This And they know that. They're just trying to do their magic and make it work into the eight. But it's not going nowhere. Christ does. We're forever. Our energy individually that we earn with righteousness. That's how you earn it. You can't be absolutely perfect, but once you're saved, you are saved. So. Oh, I hope everybody's doing well. I am. I had a pretty good day. Um, I didn't uh, have that onion soup last night. I might tonight. I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> but I just couldn't deal with the allergy situation last night. I, I had um, some more of my chicken salad. We ate that up. It was chicken pasta salad. It was good. Yum. And, uh, oh. Yeah, so it's probably onion soup tonight, and I got allergy pills. I'm going to take one just to cover myself now that I'm thinking about it and talk to you while I'm sitting here. If I think of something else on that, I was going to put it in the creation story, but people kept um, 
getting in my way of that. Well, one time God asked me to hold back and give people a chance to catch up on a couple things. So that's why I did that. Otherwise, I would have carried on. And it got right around uh, Thanksgiving where I was going to be talking about cannibalism. And so, see, through the ages, yeah, I guess I do have more to say. All the women that represented Eve have been, all of you, um, have been attacked by this issue. You, in essence, get raped by, by Satan every day. And so do the men by his female counterpart. And their ghost can haunt you. It can go into you. The same with the son and his woman. They don't go into people. They're there already because they were your forefathers. They were the original human beings. So um, they're there anyway. So they sit by and they watch as these Satanists hurt their kids. And uh, God's going to stop it. There was a set time. That was that. And these kids see visions. They saw the future. And the glimpses that you get of vid visions that are when I'm speaking like that, of days of old or the future, is exactly what you're seeing. You aren't um, hallucinating or... You know, and I wouldn't suggest any hallucinogenics like these people out there. Oh, like um, magic mushrooms and all this baloney, baloney. It's like, no, no. When you get way mind altering, that's what you're doing. You are altering your mind. So just, just take care of yourselves, please. You know, yes, yeah, she lights a cigarette. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not open for debate. I did my studies in every area, right down to microorganisms and atomic physics and beyond. So, I mean, I'm not just being a smart ass here, and I can literally talk with any scientists on any level, actually back them down because what is in the Bible and what God proves in the Bible with his science, he just puts in his kids. You read it and you've got this understanding of something that wasn't there. And it's all about science. We all are. Well, it's love, but it was made by science, the creation. It's the science. You know? Creator. But these scientists can't take things apart and figure it out because you can't take apart and figure out something that's so many lies deep. I mean, they're such big lies and been covered up for so long. I mean, um, digging out the truth you got to do with your heart and your soul. You know? So I'm asking you all to consider my words heavily. This is your future. This is your happiness, your satisfaction forever. This isn't just a momentary thing. I mean, it is right now, but I mean, you aren't, you know. And of course, I want to see people happy. I want to see you laughing. I want to see you singing. I want it for real. I don't want these forced issues. I have to force myself to laugh. That's not natural. I mean, inside myself, my happy self wants to be like that all the time. You know, a purity of happiness, not a pretense of it. You know, that's the problem. Problem is, is Satan kids are getting in the way of God's kids. This is the problem. And they have to learn how not to do that because you'll never be satisfied acting any way off kilter. If you're off kilter, I mean like way off, I might spell effing or go 
or or whatever this type of thing but the but the it's not a vile thing like i'm trying to impose on you some type of filth because i'm about as far away from that as you'll ever meet there's people that don't swear at all that have the filthiest minds in the world and there's ones that talk filthy that actually do have filthy minds There's ones that, um, told you I'm disappointed in you, you know, what do you want me to say? You know, I still care about you. I love you, but I'm highly disappointed. You know, <laughs> you disappointed in me because, uh, I love Christ and God and, um, nobody can back me down and they, he gives me intelligence to be able to convey things. So when you get in the way of that and you waste my time, you're literally wasting your own time. You're literally adding time onto your time that you got to do like a cent to. That's true. You don't, nobody rides for free. It's just the, like the women or men, if you act like a succubus or an incubus in that extreme, like, I want everybody to want me sexually type of feeling. If you act in that pretense, you will pay for it. Because that is how this world got filthy. Deviated sexuality. The entity of Satan was far older than that girly rape. So, that's why Christ takes care of bastards. That's why kids with no father are of his. Because God married them in that extreme because of that. They were together anyway. They didn't need a license, obviously, to make all of us. You know. And that's what's going on here. Satan doesn't want to let that go because he's been able to control that woman he wanted the whole time. And try and kill the man. Well, many times when she wouldn't bow, he'd kill her too. And keep the dirty ones around that would do anything. And it got out of hand. And it is out of hand. So. Imagine the Satanists surprised when they see Christ coming back in his kids like that. Yeah, that's freaky. That's how he will arrive. And yes, it is many. God promised me, you know, you may not have the gold in here, woman, but you are golden, so you will have that. And I have every faith in his words. And yeah, you know, it's like a miracle. Sure, it's science, but it's still God's science. It's his math. There's no measurements on this planet that are true. An inch is not an inch. You know, the numbers are untrue. The time is untrue. The dates are untrue. That's why we got to go with our hearts. Even the sky is untrue at this point with all the pollution in it. That's why we're all going to be surprised, kind of. You know, things you've never seen before. Yeah, look for them, but don't go by times and charts that Satan had a hand in writing. You know, see with your heart, <laughs> you know. Seriously, he'll tell you when the time's getting close, you know. Oh, it was cold here today. I didn't even look at the temperature. Um, I was out a couple times. But I just figured it felt about 20 degrees. But, I mean, 
It's better than 20 below or 50 below with the wind chill, you know, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, Robin was talking about blacking people. If they get black, they'll know why. Well, um, I won't even say that. I don't care if I feel like blacking you now that I know how. I will. That's all. And nobody would have to black me because if I knew you didn't like me, I wouldn't bother to come to your channel. <laughs> you know, that's a fact. If I feel like there's something that's necessary to say, usually I don't write much unless I'm extending my friendship and trying to get somebody to understand really what's going on. Otherwise, um, I don't really much like talking on the phone. Um, my kids call. I, I don't answer the phone. My, I should say, well, my youngest son used to call a lot, and I wouldn't answer the phone. So... so. And other people you know, that love me, or pretend to, whatever, not my kids, but I mean, you know, I know my kids love me, even if they can't express that, that type of thing, but there's some people that pretend to love me, and will talk my ear off all day, with a touch of irritant, I don't like that, I just can't deal with that, it's like, I can deal without the irritant, you know, it's like having a, a hair in your eye, while you're talking to people, you know, it's like, that's how they make me feel. And then the more they talk, it's like getting a screw in my head. Like they take a screwdriver and screw it a little bit. And then they keep talking and it screws in a tiny bit more. And they keep talking and pretty soon I'm like, okay, this screw is getting like pretty deep here. You know, I think I'm done with getting screwed. <laughs> Oh, damn, that's rich, because that's exactly how I feel on this planet. <laughs> I don't like being screwed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Always did hate that. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's about the most truth you'll probably ever hear out of anybody right there <laughs> yeah anybody else hate being boss instead of made love to you know how's that feel <laughs> pretty awful right <laughs> i'd rather go without that's just me <laughs> You just keep trying to get that one feeling back and it never comes back. It won't until Jesus Christ is satisfied. The combination of that trinity, until it feels peaceful, nobody else will. <laughs> so keep that in mind. <laughs> yes, it's like this. If Christ doesn't get love, neither do you. <laughs> so. And if God doesn't get honored and loved, you won't either. <laughs> you know. So. Anyway, stick that in your pipes. <laughs> Speaking of that, show you something. Let me find my previous one. Oh, I broke it up. Isn't that a nice color? Pretty, huh? More seeds. Nice. Buttery. If you're out I, and you're mean, I hope you're suffering. <laughs> I had like uh, three hits. I don't really get blasted. I don't like it. I'll take like a few hits at a time. Sometimes earlier in the day, but usually in the evening. We kind of got a thing around here where we get our work all done before we 
even relax. It's work day and then then you party. Or relax. Whatever. And it depends. Some days I'll have, like I say, a couple hits. Or, but I never got enough around where I'd ever be in trouble anyway. So. <coughs> Which is a good thing. That's why I thought I'd just show you. <laughs> yeah. That would be a riot, though, if, um, which would never happen. But if the cops come freaking like stormtrooping Satan's house, <laughs> that would be funnier than shit. You're under arrest. What for? For messing with everybody's life because you're jealous. Wasn't me. It was that guy over in Linwood, Michigan. <laughs> oh, I heard there's one in Wisconsin, too. <laughs> and I know a few more. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not alone. Just like Christ. You know? Moving in and out of the minds of men. Yeah. If you can grab onto that forever, you're, you're in luck. He'll protect you. Once you're saved, you are saved. You got to really want it, though. You really do. You got to really want to be satisfied in the future and bypass things now to have what you truly want. I'm not saying if you're married, you don't just stop trying. But it really is fruitless. This is the generation that's the end, the waste. There is no true love on this planet. Love making. We love, but it's not as pure as we want it to be. And nobody can debate that. I'm pretty sure my words ring true with you. This is all the, the secret knowledge, what they call esoteric. And they put different names on the people through the ages. And, of course, they call the bad good, good, bad. And, yes, yes, all that. Um, but, you know, in the depths of your heart or right up close, exactly what I'm saying is true. And that's about it on the Trinity there. Um, if I think about anything else, I'll say so. Um, like I say, I mentioned it in some other videos. and It is a part of the creation story, of course. But um, I'll get back to that just to put it in the file and make sure that that's documented like that as a story so just remember i said if on all this for anybody that wants to have that little trollish thing going on um like statements sometimes are unnecessary you know unless i got ones that just pop in to say hi they listen in and say hi i love that thank you thank you for respecting me like that as you know. And yeah, Andrea, I am here to help. But not, you say, we need you. Um, well, I, I've got to say it here goes, who's we? You and your French turd? Well, that's an old saying. Sorry, had to do that. You can't polish a turd and all that. Who's we? I'm here for Christ and people that are Christ-like. Um, if you're going off in every other direction and putting out information um, about the Helgarian dialect and all that, well, you know, it's all, all cool to know all these things, but why would you pass it on? You could make a video and talk about it. Then you would be saying, well, this is the way in our language, one of the ways, and even through sight, how Satan would trick some of us. 
This is how the Eastern Star would write their words with this type of feeling behind it, without even cussing, to trick you. So when you say, we need you, well, yes, in essence, that's true. But in essence, I'm not here for everybody like that. Christ is. You know, I'm here as your friend. I'm here. I'll, I'll love you. Like, I I always said I'm like everybody's mom like that. But sometimes mom's got to say, hey, you take a time out. Because I don't like the way you're acting. You don't talk to me until you want to talk straight. You know, that type of thing. So, yeah. And, um... The dead grade that raised me, that woman, if she had dropped the F-bomb once in a while, instead of being filthy inside, I would have appreciated that a lot more. <laughs> and so there's, that's how I feel about that. I probably swear about, well, when I get on here, not every day. And on average, about once a week. But sometimes lately, it's been a bit worse. But when I do, when I say effing, I'm meaning the way people are thinking in their life with their spirits. It's like effing. It's like, it's like, um, effing crazy. It's like nobody's satisfied and everybody's um, just screwing each other, basically, with your language, with your attitudes, and your lack of understanding because you're not sitting still long enough to actually talk to Christ. That is exactly what's going on. So, that is true. When you're busy um, yapping it up with everybody else, how could you possibly have time to let God into your heart? You couldn't. I know I need my alone time before I get on here. I'm begging God, say, hey, give me words. He's like, this talk, there they are. But, you know, it's not an easy thing. Sure, I'm open for ridicule by your minds if you're my adversary. Nobody else would do that. So little people, little digs here and there, you're working for Satan. Because of some dirty thing you did or how you feel inside like that. So when you write your words, you're expressing that. And even if you try and hide it, I will get you. you know. So just keep in mind, Christ will shortly be Satan. And a lot of your blood out there killed that. Killed him. And want him to stay dead. Not to rise. Rise. So, if you're helping that, you're definitely my enemy. So just like I always tell you, please tread lightly. I don't want to be the bad guy, gal. You know? But that's a possibility. It really is. And that'd be shame on you, not me. So if you go to write something that's entirely stupid or you tell me that you don't know what the cabal is, there, maybe I believe somewhat of that. Or maybe you didn't understand the word and the feeling behind it is exactly the fake light. And that's how they try and fight us. They try and fight the real light with the fake stuff. Oh, I'm so sweet. Like I go, sweet, sweet, sweet. That's why. You know, you pretend you're sweet when you really got these little digs. You know, then when I say something, I look like a jerk. I'm not falling for it. Somebody else might, but not me. And I love you, and that's why I'm out here. I love y'all. Um, SJD, if you're watching this, I said a prayer, and Father, 
is going to do something to you. I'm not sorry. I don't want you dead. I told him that. There's no worries there. But something else is going to be happening. Just all I can say is watch what you eat. There's a hint. So, okay, everybody. If you want to apologize to me, you won't have to watch for nothing. But I am definitely don't have any fear of you or anybody else. So I want to be out of here. I don't care. So no matter who does what or who wants to stay here, you go right ahead. Because as soon as I can die, I want the hell out of here. Because yes, this is hell to me. I know better. And I do know better. And this is not better. So. Okay, everybody. I love you. Um... Have a really, really good night or day where, wherever you're at. Please consider my words. Don't, don't think when you hear them. Just listen to them. Consider them. Take them or leave them. And leave me alone. I'm here to help you. If you don't want that, well, bye-bye. For reals. I will distance myself. No problem. <laughs> so, okay, everybody. I love you very much. I do. I hope everything works out for everybody. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.